What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, just been super busy. Before we get started, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button down below, also the notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you guys will be notified. Today's video is just going to be me sighting in my 300 Blackout Stag Arms AR-15. Youth hunt is coming up in about a month here, so my kids will be using that and I gotta get excited in for them. And also a quick overview of the Game Sports Race or Rat Handguard that I did my first neutral impressions on and install. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave it somewhere up here for you guys. So this is the rifle that I'm shooting. The Stag Arms 300 Blackout. I have a Monstrum Tactical uh, 1 to 6 first focal plane. Sorry about the wind here guys. American Defense scope mount. They did send this out for me to do a review. I'll be doing a separate video on that here in the near future. Arisaka light, Malkoff head, and a Yankee Hill break. Again, this is chambered in 300 blackouts. These are the Barnes x -Tac, uh, 110 grain. I heard these are great for deer, hogs, medium sized game. Just a quick overview again of the handguard here. Aim Sports did set it out for me to do a, a review. It is a 15 inch M-Lock rail. Sorry about the lighting here if it's a little dark. I gotta fix it for you guys. All right, as I mentioned, this is the Aim Sport Wraith 15 inch handguard. It is M-Lock compatible. Super slim design. I love the design of this. I haven't got a chance to shoot it much, but from what I put it through already, it has held up really good. Nothing has been flaked off. The fit and finish is awesome on this. I will leave a link down in the description below to their website so you can check out their products. I have a BCM angled foregrip. Yes, this is angled. You can see I turned this the opposite way. That way I can pull into my shoulder just a little bit better. Anti-rotation pins. I forgot what brand those are. Stock mill spec trigger. MOE K2 grip plus. Pistol grip and a MOE SL stock. Along with that I have a Magpul sling. I love Magpul products. They make lots of air accessories. And for the money you can't beat Magpul. Again this is the Monstrum 1-6-24. Awesome scope for the money. If you're on a budget, highly recommend checking this scope out. I did out. have to drive out to my local range today. I am allowed to shoot in my backyard with rifles, but I choose not to just because my berm is not big enough yet. I'm still building that. I only have a berm for pistols, so hopefully in the near future I will have a big enough berm to shoot rifles and I'll put more content for you guys. But today's public range here at uh, Shyockton, Wisconsin. There's the 50 yard range. So we'll set up and uh, we'll do first few shots, see if we can get on paper. All right, so sighting in initially, I'm going to be shooting these Sig Sauer 300 Blackout. Not sure if you guys can see them, but they're 125 grain FMJ Supersonics. The Barnes x tax in here are 110, so that's the closest grains I can find to these without wasting any of these, because these are pretty expensive. So we'll take these out for now. And then we'll do one. Sh we'll do a couple shots. Just make sure we're on paper. We we'll go from there. safe clear I'm gonna go down and check it out it's kind of nice to shoot on the weekdays because the range is not as busy but with hunting season come around this place is gonna be super packed so super busy with work and I haven't got a chance to get out to shoot my rifles I shoot more pistols at my range at home let me fix the brightness here perfect all right so that's where we're at 50 yards this one i totally pulled as you can see my first shot i flinched so i'm going to come up a couple inches and then to the right make sure we're on a 50 and then we'll jump over to the 100 yard range hopefully the guy is done shooting at a hundred because there's one guy down there uh, but if he's not we'll make do we'll get back to 50 readjust and uh hopefully we're back on target 
All right, so to adjust the scope, it is a half MOA at 100 yards. So at 50 yards, we were two inches low. So we're gonna have to double that. Normally at 100 yards, if you were two inches low, you would go four clicks up. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go down, and I believe we were left an inch. So we're gonna go right. So there's that. So we're gonna go right four. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna load up a couple more. Do another three shot group, aim for the middle again. Hopefully we're on now. Hopefully I don't flinch. Clear. All right. All right. So not the best. Again, though, when I flinched, and then first shot, second shot. So relatively in there. I'm gonna probably come left four clicks. Leave it at that, and then we'll jump back to 100 for you guys. All right, we made it here to the 100 yard range. There's one group to the left of me, but I believe they're at the pay station. So we're gonna shoot off, uh, do a three shot group here at 100. Let's go check it out. The only downfall about this is that I don't have a spotting scope, so and that's only a six power. So every time I shoot, I gotta go down and check out my target. Oof, that's not good. One, two, and three. Did to go back there and I'll retry it again here. All right, try this again. I think I was actually up a couple of inches. I'm gonna come down. Two inches in the right. Come left. Uh, go left two inches. Two. Almost back to my actual zero of where I initially had the scope. Before I put the. I'm gonna try back to the initial zero to where I originally had my scope prior to installing the American Defense scope. Try that. We'll shoot the bottom right target. right back. All right, she looks like she's zeroed. I'm gonna do another three shot group. Then I'll call it a day just because we have more people coming. So, I'm gonna shoot the bottom left target. And then I'll bring the target down here for you guys. And we'll wrap it up. rip battery's gonna die hopefully I can make it down there to show you guys again I went to 50 yards resetted it in because I put a new scope mount on there but it looks like everything's back to zero so previously I had the monstrum cantilever mount and I zeroed it with that and then I put the American defense scope mount on shot around for a bit today turns out 
was back to the original zero. So, so there was my grouping before, and then there's my second one. I pulled that one. These two were decent, I guess. Probably but. gonna have to find a better load for this rifle, which is weird because previously, when I sighted this in, I was getting about an inch group at 100 yards. But that was on a Caldwell sled, so this all I had was just a sandbag with no supported rear. But I don't know. I guess I'm just making excuses. But uh, we will revisit this before youth gun deer. I'm gonna try to find a better load for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, doing the giveaway at. 500 subscribers, I'm almost there. The giveaway will be for TLR7 Flex. Choosing one lucky winner from our subscriber list. So make sure you guys subscribe, share this channel, turn the bell notification on. And until next time, be safe everyone.